Hi everyone and welcome to another Elementor tutorial. I'm Chris and uh, hopefully you really enjoy this video. We're actually going to do a bit of a follow-up to a previous uh, video tutorial that I did on Elementor shape dividers. Now in that tutorial, if you haven't seen it, I looked at how to create these shape dividers for our sections. It makes our uh, website have a bit of a pop and you see all these uh, elements popping up here. Uh, but I demoed that in this video with just using color or gradient backgrounds. And um, uh, I, I hope I'm saying your name correctly, Far Farhan, Farhan um, asks how to divide a picture in shape divider instead of a color. And that's fair enough. So why don't we cover that in this tutorial? Uh, so we're going to look at how to use a picture in the background and then create these shape dividers using that function in Elementor. Okay, so um, this is actually demoed in this website here. Uh, so you can see that uh, I have I have this picture here and then this here is actually a shape divider just just as in the previous video and you can see it, it creates a really nice flow on the website um, if we scroll down we've got it again actually with this uh, image and then we've got this other shape divider this one's called mountains which you can see in the settings and I even used it again uh, down here it was just a consistent theme and you can see that we've got that contact form popping up there um, and it, it actually goes over the shape divider so it creates a nice little dynamic on the site uh, so that's just to say that you can indeed uh, use pictures in the background when using shape dividers now this website actually features in my udemy course so if you would like to create this website or any like it uh, uh, you can you can look at how to create this entire website on my Udemy course, and and you'll see that you know you've, you've got the full blog functions, service pages uh, again using that shape divider effect, and and even here. Uh, so it's a really beautiful website, and if you want to have a look at that, I'll put the link in the description. Um, you can check along becoming a no coding web designer in 2021, and currently it's priced at 19.99. But uh, subscribe to this channel and if you use the coupon code you, uh, YouTube sub um, I'll show you type into the uh, coupon area there YouTube sub and apply uh, you'll find that you get a nice little reduction um, on that uh, however if you do just fancy going to imchrisgood.com and following the link and paying the full 19.99 I wouldn't say no um, but if you fancy that little slice off the pie there um, of course use that discount um, I'll put the link in the description. But let's get back to it um, and take a look at how to uh, achieve this. So let's go to a demo page. Uh, this is a duplicate of this uh, page here. And so what we've got here is the background image and it actually has an overlay over the top and, and we want to place the shape dividers on. So let's look at uh, these different elements. I'm gonna duplicate the section and actually I'll just add another one just so it's got a bit of a gap. There we go. Okay, so we'll play with this one here. And first off, let's have a look at the elements of the section. Uh, if we click here and we have the edit section, we want to go to style because we want to change the style of the section. So we go here and we can see how to add an image. So let's, let's just delete that. Um, let's just delete that image. And we've also got a background overlay. So um, I'm actually going to delete that also. So let's just get rid of that. Oh, there we go. Click that. Clear. It's all it's all completely clear. So we've got the section and we've got the uh, the content here. Uh, but let's just snazz it up. So we go to image. And <laughs> then which one was it? Let's go with that one. And that's that's actually how to add a background image to your section. Uh, then you've got the option of adding the background overlay and we did it in this sort of blue color just now and you can do it as a block color um, so we can, we can go with green if we so wish um, or we can get back to these blues which, which looks quite nice so that's quite good um, and this is actually the gradient so then you just simply select the, the, the two colors and that's looking quite moody and you can change various settings and stuff. So uh, I'm sure I have a video about that on, on the channel. Um, so we're going to leave it like that. And you can see that now we've got an image for the section and then even a, on top of that gradient overlay, which is so beautiful. Uh, and then we simply go down to shape divider. And just as we did so before, we can select a shape divider and you'll see that it cuts into there quite nicely. 
Uh, we can go and set the bottom one. Uh, let's do mountains as well. Uh, but you can see that you can change the width and it just it just changes the uh, the shape divider over that image. Look at that. Takes it under the button. And of course, you can just play with the different elements that you have there. That doesn't look too nice. So you just have a play. Uh, you can't break anything. That's the that's the thing to remember with Elementor. If, if you don't know how to do something, have a go. Um, you really can't break anything. Um, bring to front, uh, that would be coming in useful if you've got uh, another element that you, that you would like to have in front of it. So uh, if I just select on this section here and shape divider, oh, bottom. Um, and then if I go to mountains, and we've got bring to front there, but watch this element here. This is this is a, an image. So I've got an image in this column and just going back, I would like to take that away. And so click that and it goes bring to front and then flip, you'll see what that does. Keep an eye um, here, I'm pointing, you can't see that. There you go. And then you can change the height and the width. Really great. So that's how to uh, quite simply add a shape divider to uh, a section that has an image as a background and even a background overlay. Um, just simply go along to shape divider in the style tab, uh, go to the top or the bottom and add your shape divider, change the height to suit. And if you need to, need to do so, uh, bring to front or invert or flip it. It's really that simple. Okay, so uh, I hope you found that useful. Obviously, if you have any other questions about uh, how to do something or how to follow up on something, uh, as was done before, and just ask the question in the comments and I'll do my best to get a tutorial on the way for you. Um, if you do enjoy these, please do subscribe. And like I say, there's an entire Udemy course there. Uh, so do check that out. Links are in the description below um, and it gives you a little bit of a discount as well. Okay, thanks. Hope you found that useful. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks. I will just quickly say that if you're interested in learning how to build a complete website, um, I have a new Udemy course out. It's only priced at £20 and there are various promotions. I'll leave a link in the description. So if you'd like to learn how to uh, design a website from start to finish, including the design and the planning and thinking about branding, then this is a really great starter uh, course for you. It's all about how to build websites with no coding. And in the course, we're using Elementor. So it's a really fantastic course, if I do say so myself. And it's a great start for anyone looking to become a no coding web designer. So the link is in the description. Please do check it out and get in touch if you'd like any further help. Thank you very much.